Estás viendo Canal América, Televisión Dominicana para el Mundo. A Time for True Show is sponsored by the office of Dr. Bernard Fiakoff, a periodontal, dental implant and laser specialist in New York City, for over 40 years. Dr. Fiakoff was honored by the International College of Dentists and Pierre Fauchard and received the Presidential Lifetime Humanitarian Honor from the White House. Call us at 718-229-3838. Sometimes life can be so damn hard You don't know where to go Everything is falling apart Yeah You try to do your best But only God knows That you've given everything you've got But the world takes you down You just keep moving on at your feet. Welcome to our Time for True show. It's a pleasure to have you back with us again in this 2024. I'm your host, Dr. Bernard Fialkoff. And tonight, we're going to be dealing with something that's been havocing our world, globally, the entire world has been suffering from a lack of who can you trust? Who can you turn to? Who can you depend on? And what are the consequences? What are the ramifications that we're experiencing globally? Or wars, marital divorcing, strikes social strife, violence, uh, and hopelessness, homelessness. Really, people protesting about their lives, about their existence, about the way they feel. And so tonight, we have a very special show for you on a way, a different way, a simple way possibly to look at, but a way to happiness and a way to obtain that trust that we've all been searching for and desiring. Today, we're very lucky that we have a very special man, Jorge Perez de Tagla, an international humanitarian, and a Buddha, if you put his pictures up on the screen, Mr. de Taglia, is recognized all across the globe, in North America, in Europe, in Asia. There you see he has such a welcoming smile. And you see he never has a lack of work. He's a very efficient human being. And he inspires common sense. He's uh, the guru of ethics human rights, giving counsel on controlling of harmful illicit drugs, and how to socially better our environment. Jerry is now focusing on two major campaigns to bring more advancement into our world. And tonight, we're going to focus on his campaign for in the International United Declaration of Peace that Spears has hope and empowerment in the world. The Taglia has been honored with the International Freedom Medal for his global work on bringing integrity, happiness, and honesty to our world. And Buddha, if you will bring him up live on the screen, we want a bit of warm welcome to Mr. Jerry Perez de Tagle. Hello, sir. I'm doing very well. 
we are doing this show now. I am in Asia right now. I am in Manila in the Philippines right now. Nice and warm here in this part of the world. It's a pleasure to have you on our show in New York right now. It's around 28 degrees, a little windy. <laughs> so uh, I definitely wish I was there with you in that warm weather that you're experiencing. You're a lucky man. <laughs> yes. In the Philippines, it's always warm or hot. 85 degrees so it's either hot wet or hot dry but always hot <laughs> well uh, you know i know we have a lot to cover and you have a a lot to offer so i want to first start with asking you what do you see is the global situation that's occurring all across the world, but really in North America. And what do you feel is needed and wanted as a solution? So what I mean is, is that as we start 2024, there are a lot of strides happening in the planet, but there are a lot of concerns and issues. A lot, I see a lot of anxiety in the different of the world, in North America, in Asia, in where I just came from, there's a sense of helplessness, even a sense of hopelessness. I see that in many parts of, of the planet, there is a something view of the future so it is in that light that we can do something about it that we don't have to just be content with the issues of the world that we can create betterment and in that context that i have had the opportunity to work with global leaders, sultans and monarchs, heads of states, and leaders in North America and here in Asia, that we can do something about it. That is the root of a campaign that we are doing right now, Dr. Ben. It's called a United Declaration of Peace that given the wars in europe the wars in the middle east and conflicts around the world i ask myself is there a solution is there something we can do especially from a man can we influence what is happening in the world and I am happy to share with you that yes, the answer is a yes, an optimistic yes, an empowered yes, that you, the person in your chair, listening to the program, you can make a difference in whatever position you are in, whether you are a retiree, a professional, a student, you can make a difference. Let's do he something a, here uh, before we get into okay. that. So we can kind of, let's catch up our viewers okay. with the campaign that you're talking about, which actually led to this Declaration of Human Rights. So let's, we have a video so we can catch everyone up in the audience and they can get an idea. Okay, how is Mr. Dettaglia decided to formulate this declaration? Why is that? Let's take a look at his campaign, this Human Rights, Honesty, Integrity campaign, Common Sense uh, Beliefs. Uh, Buddha, let's put on the video so we can introduce that to our viewers. Let's play the video for them. Let's go ahead. 
What lies beneath all that is wrong in our world today is a deepening moral crisis. The evidence is everywhere. In the intolerance of rampant racial and ethnic hate crimes, the greed of corporate criminals stealing hundreds of billions of dollars, immorality with online pornography, now a billion dollar a year business, and more than half of all marriages ending in divorce. While over the last four decades, violent crime has increased by 500%. At the root of all of it is a loss of basic morals and values. But helping to reverse this decline and restoring to man integrity and trust is the way to happiness. The first moral code based wholly on common sense. Authored by L. Ron Hubbard in 1980, to fill the moral void in an increasingly materialistic society. The 21 precepts of this code restore the bonds that unite mankind. Entirely non-religious, it can be followed by anyone of any race, culture, or creed. Because the acts of others profoundly affect one's life, by presenting copies of The Way to Happiness to friends and associates, one improves his own survival by restoring morality to those around him, helping them better survive and lead happier lives. In turn, they pass copies of the book on to those whose lives they influence, guiding others to treat their fellows with kindness, compassion, and respect. At this grassroots level, more than 70 million copies of The Way to Happiness have passed from hand to hand across more than 100 nations. But repairing the moral fabric of society is a big job. That's why in 2003, the Way to Happiness Foundation established its new international headquarters in Glendale, California. It's here, educators, corporate executives, legislators, and dignitaries from the world over learn how they can use this vital book to bring about urgently needed change in their businesses, communities, and nations. The foundation, as the central coordination point, also establishes a growing network of Way to Happiness offices, which assists thousands of individuals and groups to distribute the book across every sector of society. To meet the increasing demand for the booklet, the headquarters state-of-the-art printing facility allows for it to be printed instantly and in any of more than 90 languages. With personalized covers, individuals, businesses, and governmental bodies adopt and distribute the book as their own, making the way to happiness message their message. Recognizing the effectiveness of the book, businesses conduct their own way to happiness campaigns, including employee workshops that foster a more ethical workplace, and distribution to customers to encourage honesty and trust. Taking responsibility for establishing a moral future, companies sponsor youth programs that draw upon the precepts of the booklet. Thousands of schools and youth groups take part in Set a Good Example contests, inspiring millions of students to take action in their neighborhoods. Carrying out cleanups, graffiti paintouts, and other activities that protect and safeguard their communities. Still more get the way to happiness message through 21 public service announcements, one for each precept, airing on screens in nations the world over. The book has also proven to be a powerful force for crime prevention and rehabilitation. Programs utilizing the way to happiness operate in prisons, juvenile centers, and probation offices, giving offenders a moral code they can use to become honest, productive citizens. Law enforcement officials have used the way to happiness as a tool to reverse the trend of crime and violence, taking its message right to the streets, to city parks dedicated to the precepts, and to tens of millions more through internationally televised events. While in areas torn by civil unrest and war, mass distribution by volunteers replaces conflict and violence with reason and calm. From quelling racially sparked violence in an American city to restoring order on the riot-torn streets of Venezuela, to helping build a common bond between Palestinians and Israelis. 
In country after country, local and national leaders issue official recognitions acknowledging the way to happiness for instilling humanity and compassion into whole communities and entire nations. All that stands between the world conflict we face today and one that is compassionate and peaceful is finding common values upon which all can agree, no matter their nationality, race, or religion. It is in your power to help point the way to a less dangerous and happier life. Give the way to happiness to those you care about, so they too can pass it on. Sponsor a campaign to distribute it or start a group and help restore to an entire area decency and morality. Wherever the way to happiness reaches, like gentle oil spread upon the raging sea, the calm and peace flow outward and outward, leaving in its wake a world built on tolerance, trust, and understanding. Well, your program is fantastic. And, you know, as I was watching this, I had a whole different feeling come over, over me. I can see, you know, how this works. So I wanted to ask you, like, um, is this the program that you're talking about to help people with all this anxiety, the helplessness? Please go ahead and take, take over and discuss this for us. Can you hear me? Surely. Okay. So go yes. ahead. You know, I saw the video. It's wonderful. I want to just say that I myself, I was born and raised Catholic in the Philippines. So let me give a, a, a quick background of myself. I was born and raised in the Philippines where 80% of the population are Roman Catholic. And so being raised with that background of faith, when I came across this book, The Way to Happiness, I said, uh, this is nothing less than the Ten Commandments. And in a way, it is. However, what struck me was that uh, The Way to Happiness was written for the 21st century in a very practical and commonsensical way. And I work with Catholic bishops, with born-again groups and Christian groups perspective of the variants of the world you know we have the abrahamics which is the roots of judaism christianity and islam and we have the religions which are the roots of hinduism buddhism and the other asian religions so what i saw was a fantastic insight that can we, with the happiness as a moral for the 21st century, unite the conflicts that some of the religions have, have but in the way to happiness, we are able to have a unity. Can we? The common person, there are 8 billion people in the world today in 2024. Can we, the common person, make a difference in the world with the conflicts that are occurring in the global scene, with the crime and social degradation, challenges that the family is facing, or even person a sense of isolation a lack of and stuff that is occurring so yeah these are all virus dr ben but what i saw was that is there a thread to these issues of the world up to the individual person and i saw that yes there is a common thread what is it what i saw was that the common thread was a loss of the moral compass, a loss of the moral code, a loss or a confusion with the personal ethics that 
people were encountering, that society was facing. So there was like a vacuum. And so the thinking is that if we fill in this void, if we can revive the basic ethical principles that the major religions are talking about. Because if you see in the history of the world in the last one years, faith driven the purpose of ethics and values in their families and societies. So it's diminished or gone, what happens? The society goes through its degradation. You have, have crime, you have depression, you have wars. That's what we see in his So you might say what we are is a, a personal a family revival a global revival of looking into our moral code and the way to happiness is like a connecting thread with all of the major religions of the world that we can come to what an agreement and a, and a sense of common purpose or common view that there is a solution to what the issues of the world that we are facing today. So that's why we created a global statement which we call United Declaration. United in the sense of the regions and whether if it's various cultures of the East and West, of the North and the South, whether whatever creed race or belief that whatever cultural foundations and uh, backgrounds that people are coming from, can we have a common direction and a sense of a common foundation, which we call is a moral code of the 21st century, uniting all of the major religions. And guess what? If we can have the heads of states, our leaders in both the political area in our communities and towns, if we can have the religious leaders, whether Muslim, uh, Jew, Jewish or Buddhist, Confucian or Hindu, isn't that awesome that there is a commonality? And that's why I'm very excited and hopeful we can do something. Together with, together with us as a leader of our life, with us as a leader in our family, in our community, we can sit. Sometimes we may feel we cannot, but actually the United States is saying that we and every one of us can make a difference in the family, in the community, and peace in the world. But uh, it is a deep uh, of peace, Dr. Ben. It's not superficial. It's based on the recognition of the basic goodness in humanity, actually. You're going to ask a question, Dr. Ben? Uh, what I want to say is that it really hits the basic point that I think has been missing over so many years. And that being that We've all, with all the major religions, as you said, the civilizations and cultures that have uh, gone up during the centuries into their golden era, and that really, as mankind, no matter how we look or where we come from or where we live, we've always striven to find that commonality. So in the place of these wars and these conflicts, as you said so adroitly, that we can have an agreement amongst all of us while retaining our individual practices, while retaining our individual beliefs, by not losing our heritage, our community, our family heritage, which is so important inside of all of us, that basis for who we are, which is really beautiful, that we're all different, which inspires a tremendous growth worldwide. So what I was going to tell you more than anything is I find this very interesting 
because it offers a solution where for so long there's been discord, there's been war, and it offers some succor and some warmth and some common sense. I think over the years, we've been looking for something with some common sense, and this is it. So, you know, first I want <clears throat> to congratulate you and uh, tell you that I'm going to do all in my power to help you with this declaration. Uh, we have a, a meeting coming up at the United Nations this springtime, and I'm going to invite you to that event. And I saw the Sultan in the background, and, you know, we love getting sporting uh, opinion leaders uh, and sports figures, legends. So, you know, those are welcome, too, from your part of the world, because really what we want to do at the UN this springtime is to have a melting pot and to bring together all these ideas. And I think your idea is very innovative. So um, what I was going to ask you, because it seems like this is almost too good to be true, but if we can instill this hope in our hearts and with our leaders, what specific steps do you recommend that our viewers who are watching your program start taking in their lives? Yes, very good point, uh, Ben. And let me comment first on what you said in terms of speaking at the United Nations. Uh, thank you for not in that invite. And so our plan is to bring the message to the world. And because this United Declaration of Peace is spearheaded by an of faith, by Islamic Sultan, who happens to be also a man of as a Catholic Christian. So here you have a commonality represented by him. His, his name is Sultan Thomas Kabinekan. And what's interesting is that he has his roots from the Arabic Syrian of his parents, Chinese, as well as Spanish. He is also an American citizen, a Filipino citizen, and at the same time is an honorary vassal of the European Union of Montenegro. So you begin to see a man of all seasons presenting various faiths that we, that he is spearheading. So this is what we're presenting to the United Nations. This is, we are world opinion leaders of the world, but at the same time, this is a declaration wherein we want the majority of the people, the billions of people in the world, across the six continents, in all of the 180 plus countries in the world, to see, to sign, and create agreement. Why? We are making a statement a stand, a position of clarity, the disillusionment, the loss of moral values are resolved. So, this is our campaign. It's starting this year, 2024. And with the declaration and sharing of this in the United Nations this spring. And at the same time, we want the signatory global leaders will come together Together. Let's hold hands together. Whatever is your culture, whatever is your back or race, we are all beings. You know what? That hits the point. And in this 2024, it's a pleasure Take to, something. See, to see that we're actually in 2024. We're going to move forward. And this solution that you're proposing with this declaration, proclamation of a way to happiness. This year, when we celebrate and introduce it at the United Nations, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. We definitely want our viewers to reach out to you and to speak to you. Uh, and you can email Jerry at Jerry P D T at gmail.com. Is that right? That's correct. G -G -T at gmail.com. And let's create a happy world. 
Let's create sanity. As he said, let me borrow his symbol. Let's create unity, agreement, and love. See you on the next episode of A Time for Two Show. Good night. This show was sponsored by A Time for Truth Foundation Incorporated as a community service. Sometimes life can be so damn hard. You don't know where to go. Everything keeps falling apart. Yeah. You try to do your best, but only God knows that you've given everything you've got. And the world takes you down. You just keep moving on at your feet.